thinking of powering your vehicle or equipment with natural gas, one of the first questions that pops up is, well, what is natural gas exactly? It's a good question. A lot of us use natural gas in our homes for heating and for cooking, but we don't give it much thought. So what is it? And more importantly, how is it different from gasoline or diesel fuel? Well, to start, in many ways, it's not a lot different. It's a fossil fuel. It's usually found with other hydrocarbon fuels in petroleum deposits and coal beds, and more recently, and shale deposits. And there's an abundant supply of natural gas in North America and around the world. Once found, it's processed, and what you're left with makes a great vehicle fuel. Natural gas, or CH4, is the simplest hydrocarbon composed of one carbon and four hydrogen atoms. It's odorless, colorless, non-corrosive, and non-toxic. And it's lighter than air, so if it's spilled, it dissipates quickly, which enhances its safety. Natural gas fuel provides an excellent way to reduce emissions. Natural gas-powered trucks have fewer NOx and PM emissions than diesel trucks, and up to 25% fewer greenhouse gas emissions, and that's without complex emission control equipment. Altogether, natural gas is a clean, safe, and viable form of energy. As a vehicle fuel, it can be stored as compressed gas, called CNG, or in a liquefied form, called LNG. But in either form, natural gas is a safe fuel. It's non-toxic and evaporates quickly. It's lighter than air, so it rises and doesn't accumulate in low places. It has a very high ignition temperature of approximately 1100 degrees Fahrenheit, or 600 degrees Celsius, so it is not easily ignited. And it's also odorless, so for CNG, a detection fragrance is added. CNG stands for compressed natural gas. Basically, if you take natural gas and compress it to 1% of its volume, you've got CNG, compressed natural gas. CNG is stored in cylindrical tanks on board the vehicle. As the tanks are filled, the gas is compressed. Typically, CNG fueling stations will fill the vehicle tanks to a service pressure of approximately 3,600 pounds per square inch, or PSI. The CNG fuel system then regulates the pressure down to about 100 PSI at the engine. Operators don't do the filling, but our service people actually had some training to do that. It's a very simple procedure. It's actually just like the old procedure of sticking a nozzle into the tank. This one, you plug it in, you lock it down, and automatically does the, the fueling for you. Once the, the bus reaches a point where it's filled, the light comes off and says your bus is fueled at 3,600 PSI and that's all you have to do. Disconnect the safety valve and it, down it goes. Very simple procedure, nothing to worry about. A lot of people have concerns about how um, unsafe it could be, but it's not. With today's prices, natural gas often costs up to 50% less than diesel and emits fewer emissions, a compelling reason for many fleets to change to natural gas power. Uh, waste management has been using natural gas trucks since the mid-1990s. Uh, we started out with CNG in uh, Palm Desert, California. Uh, most of our fleet uh, grew in California because of the uh, requirements for lower emissions. Energy efficiency and uh, one of the things that we found with the increasing uh, costs of diesel is that natural gas is much less expensive to operate. Natural gas is one of the least expensive energy sources uh, available in North America. Uh, it's readily abundant and uh, we're, there's lots of ways for us to produce it even internally in our own landfills. Waste management also found that drivers appreciated natural gas power for their vehicles. Uh, after about a week or two of driving them, they uh, realized how much better the uh, natural gas engines were. They were no longer uh, smelling the uh, diesel fumes. Uh, the engines were quieter, they didn't have to wear earplugs uh, while they're operating the trucks. They could actually listen to the radio, and uh, if they were, had a passenger with them, you could actually have a conversation without shouting. Uh, so it was uh, quite a positive change for our drivers. CNG vehicles are refueled at natural gas fueling stations. CNG fuel stations can be designed to meet fleet requirements, with the major difference being the vehicle fill time. There are also a number of natural gas fueling stations around the country, and about half are open to the public.
let's talk about LNG, or liquefied natural gas. Liquefied natural gas, LNG, is simply natural gas that has been condensed into a liquid by cooling it to negative 260 degrees Fahrenheit, or negative 162 degrees Celsius. Now that's cold. Because it has to be kept at such cold temperatures, LNG is stored on the vehicle in double-walled, vacuum-insulated stainless steel tanks. Since the fuel is stored as a liquid, it takes up less space than a CNG system, so more energy can be stored on board the vehicle. The reason that there's two grades of natural gas, CNG and LNG, in the marketplace is because there's a wide variety of vehicle operations. CNG is ideally suited for light duty, medium duty vehicles, some heavy duty application, but the big rig trucks are ideally suited for LNG because LNG is a denser energy storage method, so we can get a lot more fuel on board with LNG than CNG. So you've got weight savings, you've got some cost savings, and you're gonna get greater range out of an LNG vehicle. So, LNG fuel systems can work well for heavy duty vehicles that require more fuel for a longer operating range. And there are two major types of LNG fuel. We're at the Port of Long Beach LNG station. This station is unique because it offers two grades of LNG. We offer unsaturated LNG, which we call blue LNG. This is very cold LNG. And then we offer saturated LNG. We call it green LNG to make this simple. And the reason why there's two grades of LNG is because there are two different engine technologies. Each technology has its own fuel requirements. So we offer fuel that is optimized for each technology for the drivers. You know, the only difference between blue LNG and green LNG is simply the temperature of the LNG. So saturated LNG is warmed up a little bit to create vapor pressure in the tank that delivers the fuel to the engine. To maintain cold temperature and keep tank pressure within operating range, there are special considerations to handling LNG as a vehicle fuel. Natural gas, whether it's CNG or LNG, is a very safe fuel, but it's a different fueling experience. So with drivers, we want to make sure the driver is trained and comfortable in fueling their truck with LNG. So what does that mean? That means that we train the driver on safe fueling practices so that they know how to operate the station. Now, of course, the equipment is different because you're pumping LNG versus diesel. But for a, for a driver, and this is what we strive for, we want to make the fueling experience simple and quick so the driver gets in and out and back on the road. DGE stands for diesel gallon equivalent and DLE stands for diesel liter equivalent. These refer to the amount of natural gas that it takes to equal the energy content of one gallon or liter of diesel fuel. Both CNG and LNG have a lower energy content than diesel fuel for a given storage volume. To account for the different energy density between natural gas and diesel fuel, DGE and DLE are ways of comparing equivalent quantities of fuel based on their energy content. A good rule of thumb in terms of tank sizing is that one DGE or DLE of compressed natural gas requires approximately four times as much storage volume as one gallon or liter of diesel fuel. And one DGE or DLE of liquefied natural gas requires approximately twice the storage volume as one gallon or liter of diesel fuel. So, the amount of fuel required versus vehicle space available for the fuel tanks is an important consideration when designing the fuel system for the vehicle. In addition to the natural gas found underground, there's also another source of natural gas called biogas. When organic material decomposes, it creates methane gas, which can be used as a natural gas substitute. Sources of biogas include gases from animal waste, sewage, landfills, or crop waste. Technology is commercially available to remove the contaminants present in the biogas through processing to produce high-purity natural gas suitable for vehicles. Biogas that has been purified to pipeline natural gas quality is called biomethane. It's also referred to as renewable natural gas, or RNG. 
As a fuel, biomethane, or RNG, offers a number of environmental benefits. When biomethane is used as a fuel rather than being released into the atmosphere, greenhouse gas emissions into the atmosphere are reduced. For example, using renewable biomethane to fuel trucks reduces greenhouse gases by up to 90% compared to diesel fuel.